Okay, so good evening, good evening sa mga LCTC reviewers namin. No? No, to all the review, uh, sa mga nag-review no? at palagi nakasubaybay sa LCTC YouTube channel. Okay, once again, so magpapakilala ulit ako. I am Mr. Gilmore Cantal, your uh, lecturer for this evening. Okay, so sa mga... Palagi pong suma, sumas, sumas, su, uh, suma, sumusubaybay. Okay. Ano ba itong Tagalog na ito? Sumusubaybay. Yan. Okay. To those who are always waiting for the Friday night drills. Okay. <laughs> Yung Tagalog kasi eh. Okay. No? Okay, to those who are enthusiastically waiting for the Friday night drills. Okay, so um, magkakaroon po tayo ng lecture and drills this, this evening kasi po hindi tayo nakapag-live nung Friday. Okay? Anyway, for mastery po, kinakailangan natin um, to, uh, we need to review over and over again no, sa mga Nadaanan na natin ng mga lectures. Okay. So, let's proceed. Good evening po once again. So, sa mga nanonood, nanonood sa atin ngayon, welcome po and good evening sa ating lahat. Okay. So, without much further ado, let's proceed. Para po may matutunan tayong bago and mananatili yung mga information. Okay, so kailangan natin i-drills. Okay, let's proceed. Question number one. So what figure of speech is being uh, being uh, shown in the statement? She is the apple of my eye. Okay. I think na discuss na natin to noong nakaraan nating mga discussions, you know? Okay, so she is the apple of my eye. So, hindi po direct association. Okay. So, that is letter A. That's metaphor. Pag direct comparison po, simile. Okay. Pag exaggeration naman po, that's hyperbole. Pag sounds naman po, when you read no, the text or the poem, as if a sound is being created in your mind. That's onomatopoeia. For example, the cracking of the chair, the ringing of the bells. Okay, that's onomatopoeia. Okay, very good. Next, let's proceed. A Filipina writer known for her love sonnets. Sino? Kilala siya bilang author, no? And she is specifically known for her love sonnets. No other than, ladies and gentlemen, future LPTs, Ophelia Di Malanta. Very good. Teachers, let us remember, itong si Paz Marquez Benitez is the author of Dead Stars. And Dead Stars was the first Short story in English written by a Filipino writer published in the Philippine Herald in 1925. Okay? Paz Marquez Benitez, Dead Stars. Short story. First short story written in English, Dead Stars by Paz Marquez Benitez. Very good. Known for her love sonnets, that's Ophelia Di Malanta. Let's proceed. Ito, which of the following books of Leo Tolstoy is considered as the greatest novel ever written? Okay. Itong dalawang no, options were both um, literary works of Leo Tolstoy. So when we talk about 
as the greatest novel that's war and peace okay ito namang ana karinina according to leo tolstoy himself it's his first ever true novel okay take note according to leo tolstoy himself ana karinina is his first ever true novel greatest novel ever written by leo tolstoy that's war and peace very good next item what is meritocracy okay meritocracy is it rule of the few and the privilege maybe is it rule of the few rule of the talented Pag meritocracy from the word merit that's rule of the talented itong rule of the few aristocrats rule of the few and the privilege or sometimes rule of the few and the wealthy that's oligarchy okay very good future teacher uh not future teachers future lpts reviewers of lctc youtube channel welcome welcome po dito sa ating lectures and drills again i'll be asking your um understanding na hindi po tayo nakapag live nung friday okay due to some reasons okay kaya po we're recovering no and we will be reviewing and discussing new items this evening okay it is one act play written by soc rodrigo okay soc rodrigo po okay let us remember soc rodrigo ano po sa pula sa puti scent of the apples or new yorker in tundo ano po yun Sige. Ano po yun? New Yorker in Tundo. Is it Scent of the Apples? Or sa Pula sa Puti? One Act Play, Soc Rodrigo. That's Pula sa Puti. Okay. Ito pong Scent of the Apples. Let us remember that this is the story about a man and his family's experience, unique experience as Filipino migrants in the United States. Sent the apples. It was written by Bienvenido Santos. Okay, very good. Ito namang New Yorker in Tundo. Ang character nito, no? the main character is Kikay. Okay. Nung nagpunta daw si Kikay sa New York no? to study her style. And when she came back to the Philippines, New Yorker na yung kanyang dating. No? Nakalimutan na niya ang kanyang pagiging Filipino. Okay, New York and Tondo, it was written by Marcelino, not Marcelino Pumoy, but Marcelino Agana Jr. Very good. Hindi po si Marcelino Pumoy ang author ng New York and Tondo, kundi si Marcelino Agana Jr. Good evening, good evening po sa mga nanonood sa atin ngayon. Okay. Okay, good. Sige, mare po kayong mag-comment no? sa inyong mga sagot. Okay, good evening po. Good evening, good evening. Okay, let's proceed. Okay, pag sinabi natin one act play, that's sa pula sa puti, and it was written by Soc Rodrigo. Okay, pag sinabi natin Scent of the Apples, written by Bien Vinido Santos. Pag sinabi natin New Yorker in Tondo, written by Marcelino Agana Jr. Good. Very good. Next, let's proceed. Portrait of the Filipino artist as a Filipino. What best describes the statement? Pag sinabi natin artist as a Filipino, we, we must celebrate. We must be proud of it. So, celebrated play which was set during the American colonial period. It was written by Nick Joaquin. Okay. And, take note po, itong portrait of the artist as a Filipino teachers, it is also considered 
Sikreto lang to. The National Play of the Philippines. Good. Itong si letter B, story of one man and his family's unique experiences sa Filipino migrants in the, immigrants in the United States. Ito yung scent of the apples. Okay? So, pag sinabi natin portrait of the artist as a Filipino, it is a celebrated play which was set during the early American colonial period and considered as the national play of the Philippines written by Nick Joaquin. Very good. Let's proceed to the next item. It is the basic car career of hereditary traits and are classified as dominant or recessive. Okay. Hereditary traits daw, carrier ng hereditary traits, no? And classified as dominant and recessive. Ito ay genes. No, take note, take note, take note. Okay. Pag sinabi nating carrier of hereditary traits, that, that's genes. Pag sinabi nating chromosomes, ito ay carrier ng genetic information from generation to generation. Kaya nga masasabi natin, ay magkakamag-anak, your relatives. Ito namang DNA is a genetic code which is unique from every individual. Okay? Kahit magkapatid, kahit kambal, unique DNA. Pag RNA, that's um, protein synthesis. Okay. Pag chromosomes, mayroong 23 pairs of chromosomes. Take note po, 22 dyan ay trait chromosomes, isang pair, pares naman ng sex chromosomes. Pag sinabi natin double X, that's female. Pag sinabi natin X and Y, that's male. Very good. Pag sinabi natin first uh, story in English written by a Filipino writer, that's Dead Stars. It was written by Paz Marquez Benitez, published in the Philippine Heralds in 1925. Good. Pag sinami dating Scent of the Apples, it was written by Bienvenido Santos. Pag sinabi naman nating New Yorker in Tondo, ito ay sinulat ni Marcelino Agana Jr. Pag sinabi natin sa pula sa puti, so Rodrigo or Francisco Rodrigo. Pag sinabi naman nating portrait of the artist as a Filipino, written by Nick Joaquin, considered as the national play of the Philippines. Very good. Number 228. Ilang pares ng chromosomes nga mayroon ng isang tao? 23. Dalawang, put, dalawang pares ng trait chromosomes or the autosomes and gonosomes, one pair or the sex chromosomes. Very good. Ito, next item. Proponent of PETA. Okay, sino nga ang proponent ng PETA? Sino? Proponent ng PETA. Pag sinabi natin um, arena, that's Severino Montano. Pag sinabi natin Pag sinabi natin Matters, Montano Arena, um, Rolando Tino, that's experimental. Pag sinabi natin Matters, R&S, that's uh, Rogers Sala idagdag natin ang PETA by Cecil Alvarez pag sinabi natin PETA Alvarez so matters AP okay. matters MA Montano Arena TE Tinio Experimental RS Rogers Sala AP, Alvarez, Peta. 
Ito pong PETA teachers ay tinatawag na Philippine Educational Theater Association. Okay. Ito po. Philippine Educational Theater Association. PETA. Ang proponent po, Cecil Alvarez. Okay. Balikan nga natin. Pag sinabi natin proponent ng Arena Montano. Pag sinabi natin proponent ng Experimental Tino. Pag sinabi natin proponent ng Sala Rogers. Pag sinabi natin proponent ng PETA or ang Philippine Educational Theater Association, Cecil Alvarez. Very good. Which of the following is not a theater art form? Not a theater art form. Meaning, wala pong character on stage. Actual character on stage. Cartoons. Letter A. Okay, let's proceed po. Teachers. Okay, balikan nga ulit natin. Pag sinabi natin, Scent of the Apples, sino po yung author? Si Bienvenido Santos. Okay. Pag sinabi natin, um, Dead Stars, Ophil, uh, Paz Marquez Benitez. Pag sinabi natin, New Yorker in Tondo, That's Marcelino Agana Jr. Pag sinabi natin sa pula sa puti, Francisco or Soc Rodrigo. Okay. Let's proceed. Item number 231. A Filipino painter known for depicting no, vibrant, vibrantly colorful and thickly painted landscapes. O, sino po ang kilala na pintor? Okay. Sino? Ha? Si? Cesar Buenaventura. Okay. Pag sinabi po natin vibrantly colorful and thickly painted landscapes, Cesar Buenaventura. Pag sinabi po natin San Pedro, he was the first national artist for music. Okay. From Angono Rizal. Ito namang si Levi Celerio ay considered as the man who could play Music with a leaf. Ito po. Dear future LPTs. Okay. Sige. Good evening. Good evening po sa mga nanonood sa atin ngayong gabi. Salamat po for staying with us. Okay. Let's proceed. Pag sinabi ulit na natin, Vibrantly colorful and thickly painted landscapes, that's Cesar Buenaventura. Pag sinabi natin, the man who could play a music with a leaf, that's Livy Celerio. Pag the first national artist for music from Angono Rizal, Luis San Pedro. Pag wala pong Luis San Pedro, Losho San Pedro. Next item, 232. Okay, very good. Ito, the famous composer from Angono and became the first national artist for music. Sinabi ko na kanina yan. San Pedro. Ito si Buenaventura. Vibrantly colorful and thickly painted landscapes. Okay, that's Buenaventura. Next item. All these were illustrados. Pag sinabi nga natin illustrados, they are the enlightened 
citizens during the Ameri- uh, colonial, Spanish colonial period. So, ang mga ilustrados, yung mga nakapag-aral, except, maliban daw, is it Lopez Jaina, Rizal, Del Pilar, or Bonifacio? So, so, ang hindi ilustrado dito ay si Andres Bonifacio. Okay. Arm struggle yung kanyang gusto no? sa pakikibaka for the freedom of the Philippines from colonial rule. Very good. Ito namang tatlo, si Rizal, Hainap del Pilar, propaganda. They just wanted that the Philippines be a province of Spain. Okay. Kaya gusto lang nila na mayroong rep- representasyon sa uh, Spanish Cortez. Okay. Very good. Okay, let's proceed. Pagdating ng, uh, natin ng 240, drill natin. Okay, magkakaroon tayo ng drills. She was a stage actress, best uh, lead actress in Les Miserables, or Les Miserables, and the Miss Saigon, Lea Salonga. Very good. The abbreviation sa uh, Sintansek, or for sign, tangent, and second were attributed to Albert Girard uh, as using logarithms in measuring the intensity of the earthquake yung pag-measure down ng intensity ng earthquake sino? or kanino associated yon? is it Alexander Graham Bell? that's telephone is it George Danzig? that's the linear programming or computer programming ito namang si Johan or si Johannes Kepler planetary motion or the elliptical orbits of the of the planets around the sun so pag sinabi nating intensity ng earthquake that's charles richer kaya nga tinatawag na richer scale ang device that measures the intensity of an earthquake very good so let's proceed the first national artist for painting. Sino? First national artist for painting. Is it Manansala, Amor Solo, Abueva, or Juan Luna? Itong si Manansala. Teachers, remember, cubist of Philippine art. And the first abstractionist of the Philippine art scene. Abstractionism kay Manansala yan. Pag sinabi natin Fernando Amor Solo, Nash national artist for painting okay and or arts so Fer- fernando amor solo is also considered as the grand old man of philippine arts itong si napoleon abueva for a uh, uh, sculpture okay father of modern philippine sculpture that's napoleon abueva juan luna spolarium Planting rice, Fernando Amor Solo. Spolarium, Juan Luna. Planting rice, Fernando Amor Solo. Good. Good. Pag vibrantly colorful and um, thickly painted landscapes, Buena Ventura. Good. Next, let's proceed. The first national artist for literature in 1973. First national artist for literature. Kasi itong si Nick Joaquin is also a national artist for literature. Pero sino ba ang kauna-unahang national artist for literature in the country? In the Philippines. That's Jose Garcia Velia. Itong si Jaina at si Del Pilar ay associated sa La Solidaridad. Very good. Next, 238. All these nations are members of the Association of uh, Southeast Asian Nations. Except for ASEAN. Okay, tandaan natin, BCI, that's Brunei, Cambodia, Indonesia. LMM, Laos, Myanmar, Malaysia. PVST, Philippines, Vietnam, Singapore, and Thailand. Which among the countries are not is not part of ASEAN, China. Good. 
nung March po, I think two items, no? Lumabas ito. And iba-iba yung options. Okay. Yung ASEAN po, teachers, mayroong sampung bansang kasapi. No. Countries in the South ASEAN portion of Asia. Next, this is the first novel. Pag sinabi natin, first short story in English written by a Filipino, Dead Stars. Published in the Philippine Herald in 1925. Pag sinabi natin, first novel in English written by a Filipino writer in 1921, that's Child of Sorrow. Sorrow. Child of Sorrow. By Zoilo Galang. Very good. Author ng Dead Stars, Paz Marquez Benitez. Author ng Child of Sorrow, Zoilo Galang. The first short story in English written by a Filipino, Dead Stars. The first novel in English written by a Filipino writer in 1921, Child of Sorrows. Very good. Okay, last item para po i-drill natin lahat. Number 240. The Epic of the Iluk. Canos. Okay. We also have the epics of the Bisaya. No? Pag sinabi natin Ilocanos, biag ni Lamang. Pag sinabi natin Bisaya, hini lawud. Okay. Let's ng mga Ilocano that's biyag nilang ang pag sinabi natin the longest epic in the world the Mahabharata very good pag sinabi natin rule of the talented meritocracy pag sinabi natin rule of the few the privilege of the rich oligarchy the rule of the few aristocrats the rule of the royals kings and queens That's monarchy. Sige. Ay, pasensya po. Nawala po yung connection. Saglit. Okay. Balikan natin yung 200, item 239. The first novel in English written by a Filipino writer, 1921, Child of Sorrow. First novel in English, Child of Sorrow. Again, first novel In English, written by Zoilo Galang in 1921, Child of Sorrow. Pag sinabi natin, first English short story written by a Philippine writer, Dead Stars. Published in the Philippine Herald in 1925. Very good. Next. The legendary Cubist of the Philippines. That's Vicente Manan. Sala and the, fir, the um, first abrupt abstractionist in the Philippine art scene, still Vicente Manan Sala. Pag sinabi natin Spolarium, Juan Luna. Pag sinabi natin Planting Rice, Fernando Amorsolo. Pag sinabi natin National Artist for Painting, Fernando Amorsolo. Pag sinabi natin Grand Old Man of Philippine Art, Fernando Amorsolo. He 
is a man who could play music with a leaf, Levi Celerio. Very good. Um, the greatest novel of Leo Tolstoy, War and Peace. Pag sinabi natin, Leo Tolstoy himself considered it as his first ever true novel. Ana Karin, Nina. Very good. Author ng Dead Stars, Paz Marquez Benitez. Author ng Child of Sorrow, Zoilo Galang. Pag sinabi natin Rule of the Few, the Aristocrat. Pag sinabi natin Rule of the Few and the Privilege, that's Oligarchy. Very good. Pag sinabi natin um, it carries hereditary traits. It may be recessive or dominant genes. Pag sinabi natin carrier of genetic information from generation to generation, that's chromosomes. We have 23 pairs of chromosomes, 22 of which are the trait chromosomes and one pair of sex chromosomes. Double X, female. X and Y, male. Pag sinabi natin uh, genetic information unique for every individual, that's DNA. Pag sinabi natin protein synthesis, that's RNA. Pag sinabi natin linear programming or computer programming, that's ZIG. Pag sinabi natin sine, cosine, tangent, Albert Girard. Pag sinabi natin pag-measure ng intensity ng earthquake, Richard, Charles Richard. Pag sinabi natin elliptical orbit, Johannes Kepler. Very good. Okay, next item. He is the first president of the Ilocos region. Sino ang unang presidente? Lumabas ito noong September. Okay? So, you know, teachers, kinakailangan natin i-master. Huh? Well, it may be true na hindi natin matatandaan lahat no in just a blink of an eye in just one session kaya it takes time plus your effort study study hard plus study smart pag sinabi natin study hard even though we're tired we still find time to study pag sinabi natin uh, study smart we find ways and means that learning may be possible in all ways in its most simple way na matatandaan natin. Okay. It's applicable not only to the students, but for us teachers also. Especially for those who are listening with us this evening. No? Na nanunood sa ating night drills. Okay. Sandali lang po. Okay. Let's proceed. He is the first president of the Ilocos region. Is it Ferdinand Marcos? He also came from Ilocanja. Is it Ilpidio Quirino or Sergio Osmeña? Teachers, Sergio Osmeña, first president of the Visayas. Pag sinabi natin Ilocos region, Ilpidio Quirino. Good. Who has the power? Next item, 242. Who has the power to declare the existence of war? Is it the president? No? Kung gusto makipagyara ng presidente, he simply needs to declare it no? before the people. So, sino ba ang may kakayang magdeklara ng state of war? Is it the president? Is it the Supreme Court, the Congress, the Senate, and the executive head? Take note. The power to declare the existence of war is on the shoulder of the Congress both the upper house and the lower house. He coined the term survival of the fittest. Sino? Pag sinabi natin survival of the fittest, that's Herbert Spencer. Pag sinabi natin communism, Karl Marx. Pag sinabi natin sociology, August Comte. So kasi itong si Karl Marx was a German philosopher, economist. Okay? 
and he is considered as the father of communism. Okay. Tandaan po natin, naisulat ang kanyang ideolohiya sa komunismo sa kanyang communist manifesto. Okay, very good. Pag sinabi nating sociology, August Comte. Pag sinabi nating um, communism, Karl Marx. Pag sinabi natin survival of the fittest, that's Herbert Spencer. Pag sinabi natin laws of planetary motion, that's Johannes Kepler. Pag sinabi natin sign, cause, and tangent, Gerard. Pag sinabi naman natin intensity, measure of the intensity of an earthquake, Richard, Charles Richard. Good. Next item. He established the tobacco monopoly during the Spanish era. Is it Basco? Is Gerdo? Tobacco monopoly, Baco, Basco, Jose, Basco. Itong si Rafael Iskerdo naman is associated with the hanging no, or the death of the three priest Gomborza. At the same uh, time, he was the governor general of the Philippines. Uh huh. During the Cavite Mutiny. Very good. Pag sinabi natin pintor ng Spolarium, that's Juan Luna. Planting rice, that's Fernando Amorsolo. The grand old man of Philippine art, Fernando Amorsolo. The man who could play mu uh, music with a leaf, that's Levi Celerio. Very good. Pag sinabi natin, Spanish Governor General to the Philippines, who established the tobacco monopoly, Jose Basco. Um, the Spanish Governor General of the Philippines is associated with the Cavite Mutiny and the, the uh, hanging of the three priests via garrot or strangulation, Rafael is Kerdo. Pag sinabing heredity, that's associated to Gregor Mendel. Okay. Pag sinabi naman nating loss of planetary motion, is it Fleming, Kepler, Darwin, Marie Curie? Planetary motion, Char Johannes Kepler. Itong si Charles Darwin, the theory of natural selection or the theory of evolution. Ito namang si Fleming was a army general, no? Who accidentally discovered the penicillin? Ang accident discovery, serendipity. Accident discovery, serendipity. Ito namang si Marie Curie is no, the proponent of um, polonium and radium. Okay, yung radioactivity kay Marie Curie yun. Very good. Next item. Japanese poem. Okay, having five lines with 31 syllables. Japanese poem daw. Okay. Having five lines. Sorry. Japanese poem having five lines with 31 syllables. O ano yan? Okay. Is it haiku? Is it tanaga? Is it tanka? Pag sinabi natin haiku, three lines lang naman yun. Five, seven, five. A total of 17 syllables. Pag sinabi natin tanaga, four lines. Consisting of 28 syllables, 7 syllables per line. Pag sinabi natin tangka, 31 syllables. No? 5, 7, 5. The first 3 lines came from Haiko. And the second 2 sets of 7 from Tanaga. No? So, double seven. A total of 
Uh -huh. 31 syllables. Tanaga. Very good. Nag-establish ng bicameralism sa Pilipinas? Jones Law. Pag sinabi natin bicameralism, the separation of the upper house and the lower house, but still performing the same functions, duties, and responsibilities as the lawmaking body of the country. Congress. Jones Law. Pag sinabi natin first, Philippine National Artist for Literature, that's Jose Garcia Velia. Pag sinabi natin Husing Sisio, that's Jose de la Cruz. Pag sinabi natin Husing Batutie, that's Jose Corazon de Jesus. Very good. Next item, communism. Father of communism, Karl Marx. If communism is to Marx, blank is for Maslow. Is it A? Is it B? A, survival of the fittest. Letter B, hierarchy of needs. The correct answer is letter A. A survival of the... Ah, Maslow, hierarchy of needs. Ito survival of the fittest kay Spencer. Sorry, sorry. Again, communism, Karl Marx. Survival of the fittest, that's for Herbert Spencer. Uh, natural selection, Charles Darwin. Pag sinabing hierarchy of needs, Abraham Maslow. So answer ng 247 is letter, letter B. Next, the famous itik-itik dance is originated from, is it from Leyte, from Pangasinan, or Soligao del Sur? Sorigao. Del Sur. Okay. Very good. Surigao del Sur. Next item. The dominant theme, creative representation of Doblicara sa Filipino value, culture value. So, sa mga kanang, ano ba itong Doblicara? So, that's letter B. That's deceit. Okay. Item number 250. In a test, Eight students obtain the following scores. 12, 10, 13, 11, 15, 20, 17, 17. What is the median? Teachers, take note. You arrange first the scores from lowest to greatest. Then if it is even, the median score is the middle score. If it is even. No? No? So, for example, we need to arrange this one. Middle, ha? 11, 12, uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15, 17, 17, 20. Oh. Atong, ano ang middle score? A middle score is 1, 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. So, ang middle score is 13 and 15. Kasi even. No, so we need to divide it by two. Twenty-eight divided by two. That's fourteen. Okay. Mm -hmm. The mode. What is asked in the previous digit is the median score. Dito naman, what is being asked is the mode. Pag sinabi nito mode, that's the most frequent score. Most frequent. No, palaging lumalabas so for example, dito sa given set of values or scores, si 17 dalawang beses lumabas, that's the mode most frequent question, sir, what if 17 is 2 and the other, there is another digit um, or number no? tatlo po yung numero no? three digits that, that is the mode okay Kasi the most frequent, eh. Okay. But in obtaining the median, the same applies. The same rule applies. Arrange. You know, then find the middle ground. The middle score. That's the median. Pag sinabi nating odd, just count. And then the center number is the median. Pag sinabi itong mode, the most frequent. Okay. If 
si 11, tatlong bisis lumabas, that's the mode. If si 17, sir, tatlong bisis din lumabas, still, that's the mode. Ang tawag dyan, bimodal. Okay. Do you have any other questions? So, mari po kayo mag-comment ng inyong mga sagot. Teachers. Okay, okay. Let's proceed. Let's proceed to item number 252. Okay. Sum of consecutive integers daw is 123. Ano bang gagawin natin dyan? Let us be more mathematical. So, itong si X, gawin natin first digit. Say, for example, X is 10. Just, just an example, okay? Okay. So, sinabi dito, consecutive, consecutive integers. So, si X, we simply need to add 1. 10, 11. Another 12. X plus 2. That's 12. 10, 11, 12. The same applies. There you go. So you might say, sir, it's just very easy. Anyway, we are going to simply add it. Now, what if, teachers, hindi consecutive yung hiningi. Consecutive add. No? So let's use this math mathematical formula. So okay, here. X plus the quantity of X1 plus X, the quantity of 2 equals 123. Combine similar terms. That's 1, 2, 3, 3X, three, 3 plus X, 3 times X plus 1 plus 2, that's 3. Transpose natin yung 3, magiging negative. So 123 divided by uh, minus 3, that's 120 divided by 3, X equals 40. Good. Next item po. The sum of the, the consecutive integers is 531. What are the integers? So teachers, do the same formula. Yang hiningi dito, um, six consecutive. So let's say for example, um, let X be the first digit. So pag sinabi natin 12, Ang second digit, 13. As third digit is 14. Kasi consecutive integers. Gagawin natin, x plus the quantity of x plus 2. Next, the quantity of x plus 4. Next, plus x, the quantity of x plus 5. Okay. Then, add similar terms. Ito po ang lalabas. 86, 86 plus 87 plus 88 plus 89 plus 90 plus 91. Total of 100 and 531. Two hundred and fifty-four. The sum of the arithmetic series is one plus four plus seven plus ten plus thirteen plus sixteen. Oh, how are you going to add that one? Is hey, there? It's very easy. Small integers lang. No. Okay. Very good. Next, 220, 255. The sum of the arithmetic series whose first term is 8 and the 8th term is 36. Teachers, ito yung formula. SRN equals N divided by 2 okay, times the quantity of A sub N plus A sub 1 plus a sub n. Okay, there's the formula. Where is n is the uh, given set of terms, you know, the arithmetic series, uh, I mean sequence, you know, the sum, then n sub 2, that's n is the number of terms divided by 2, a is the first term, and uh, a sub n is the last term. 
So that's 44 times 4 is 176. So the answer is 176. Next. Two hundred and fifty six. Okay. I